Hello guys, here's Mad Max again. Welcome to the video part from my review of the Nightcore MT10A. I'll try to give you a short overview over the light and its functions. And after that, in the written part of the review, you find the detailed charts and some technical data. The light is quite small, fits well in the hand of an adult. And you see the head itself, oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, the head itself is a little bit bigger than the battery tube, because in the tube they fit uh, AA cells, from primaries up to the lithium cells. And the head itself contains the electronics and the two switches, which I do like very much, because it's easy, one button in the front going up, one button in uh, to, towards the back side going down in the, in the modes. It's very easy to understand. And additional to that, the built-in uh, tail cap switch, which is very nice, so you don't uh, need a lockout to open the screws. Um, and there is an additional feature of that also. As you can see here, I managed to chip the anodization already, uh, because the clip is very loose for, for my finding. And I did sometimes, uh, very often, uh, remove it because you can mount it heading up or heading down as you prefer. Uh, I do don't like that also at all. So I took it off very often, and you see there are chips. And as you what you can see also, the anodization from the tail cap is a little bit different than that for the body. The anode on the body is more on the shiny side. And a little bit darker than that from the tail cap, but it's you can only see that when you hunt for it under uh, under the light. I think outside you won't even mention it at all. Well, yes, here it is. Here, here is hidden the XML L2 U2 LED within an orange peel uh, reflector and you see there is an anti-reflective coating also on the lens and here on the left side there is a red LED for uh, uh, positioning purposes or you can read in the dark if you want to uh, show you how that works. So let's have a look on the user interface. The flashlight has mode memory so when, when you switch it on it comes up with the last mode you have worked in I told you the buttons up and down, forward goes up, higher modes, backwards go to the lower modes, and after the lowest one is the red, and then there is a red blinking mode. So let's go into the second step. When you press and hold the front button, it goes direct to turbo, doing the same with the back button pressing to hold, it goes to red, because red is the lowest of in the normal order. Don't know why I would have preferred the low white in that case. And also if you press and hold in off, and then switch it on, it starts immediately with the high, and also press and hold, switch on, gives you the red. Um, a nice feature is when you press and hold both in off and switch it on, it gives you a 1, 1, 2, 1 1.2 volts, it's a voltage indicator, and after that it goes into a beacon mode, which should last 30 days according to the user manual. So just switch it off, and to show that it works good, i try that lithium primary cell, which is rated 3.6 volts. Press and hold both buttons, switch it on, 1, 2, 3, point. One, two three, four, five, six volts, 3.6 volts, and then there's the beacon. Okay, go back to the antelope. loop.
when you are in operation and you press both, it goes to strobe, pressing both again gives a beacon on full power and doing press and hold both again goes to SOS which is on the very low side, slow side, beg your pardon. Press and hold again, give back to strobe and if you press either up or down it leaves back to normal mode. But I think that that is it. So now you have to read. Thanks for watching. Bye.